My name is Enrico Cortafi. I am from Brooklyn, New York. I now reside in Huntington Beach, California. I'm a three and a half year survivor of pancreatic cancer. In March of 2016, I was receiving extreme pain in my abdomen. I was first told that I just had gas and left the hospital with uh, over-the-counter medication. During the next eight months, my inability to maintain the food I was eating progressed. I received numerous scans, stool samples, and was still being told that it was gas. I truly believe that it was more than that, and I was my own advocate. Demanding some kind of other diagnosis, in October of 2016, I was sent for a PET scan in which I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. My only understanding of pancreatic cancer was that it was a death sentence. My gastrointestinal doctor sent me to Dr. William Isaacoff. His confidence in telling me I can be treated brought my confidence to a higher level. During my period of treatment, I lost approximately 50 pounds and was forced to wear bags which fed me intravenously. In any activity that I did, I would wear these bags for 10 hours a day, and I was able to continue to do all my daily activities with that on. Even in the periods that I went to the gym where physically I wasn't able to do much, it helped me because mentally my friends that were in the gym were also a support to me and would take my mind off being treated for cancer. Prior to my diagnosis, I was a 20-year veteran of the New York City Police Department and a first responder at the World Trade Center. My cancer was related to my time spent at Ground Zero. After retiring from the police department, I was Stevie Wonder's personal assistant. When he learned of my diagnosis, he constantly talked to me about obstacles he went through in his life, constantly reminding me that I was a fighter and this would be just one other fight. During the period that I first received symptoms and the period that I was diagnosed was an eight month period. I believe if a PET scan were given for these kind of symptoms initially, not only would it save costs for insurance, but I believe people would have the diagnosis sooner. My advice to any patient that is receiving any kind of pain which you feel is unusual. Be your own advocate. Don't be silent. Demand more tests. Pancreatic cancer has made me appreciate every day that I'm here on this earth and not worry about the little things that don't matter. This is a challenge and something that everybody can get through. Don't believe that this is a death sentence. 